Okay, 2094, good luck. Not played before, no head to head score. 5,000 games are rapid, that's a lot. I'm just coming up towards 100. Oh, my phone's disconnected there. But they're online, okay. Why is that? That should be green, and it says it's green there. Okay, now it's just gone green again. Hmm. I'm going to take with a queen. That's normal, but... Yeah, keep an eye on this then. Just watch out and attack on the queen and drop back. It's more obviously normal to take with the um, pawn there. Okay, pawn's playing really quickly, actually. I'm just going to develop and come here or here, assuming the pawn pushes. I'll probably come back here, actually, just waiting for the bishop to come down. If I come here, then obviously this is going to be a permanent pin. And if the pawn's here, I won't be able to get the queen up. Okay, so I'm just looking at knight across, trying to develop the pieces. Knight here. Queen down. Queen here isn't really playable, but I could shuffle the queen across. I can drop the bishop back to still challenge a pin. If the pawn push, I've got the option to come back either way. Probably e7. I mean, if one's disconnect again, is it an internet issue? Internet issue. <clears throat> well, you have to wait 75 seconds to claim a win, so they'd have to be off for a long, long time. They're back on again. Um, queen's come up. Hmm. I'm going to play a rook across, give my knight the option here. This bishop might come back. Now, do I want to do something like this? I'm not sure I do. I could even potentially push forward here, really. Um, yeah, what's wrong with that? A little bit risky, I guess. I'm going to drop the bishop back with a view to knight going forward to challenge this position. Now, knight could still go forward there, hit the queen and knight. If you take, I can take here or I can take here. But this bishop would be loose. So knight up takes, I'd have to take here, then I can just simply drop back again. I think that makes sense to me. Take here. Let's see, if I take this knight, then the knight can take my bishop as well. I'll just take and drop back. As you with black, we're trying to equalize the position and then take it from there if we can equalize. And this is likely to blast open at some point. I could drop the bishop even right back, but I want the knight going here, I think. But f6 could be sensible. Ah, yeah. Knight to f6, but again, there's still the pin issue. But I've got bishop to come back here. Okay, it comes forward to hit my light squared bishop, so I will drop back again. So knight here is another move again, and deal with the other knight. Just goes back. Hmm. The knight up could harass the queen there, and the queen has to go away somewhere. I like the look of that. Just chase the queen away and drop the bishop back, because I'm sure this pawn push is going to come at some point. But do I try and play the queen across somewhere to challenge this? I don't think it's feasible. So I'm just going to drop back and maybe go on this diagonal. Just try not to get my knight trapped, of course. Knight comes forward again. It's jumping around all over the place. Hmm, is this a move? Well, this might be a move. Hmm. On here, takes, takes my knight. A little bit stuck. Well, I have got bishop here now, and I can encourage f4. If it happens, knight here might be a move at some point. But I might get my knight trapped. Hmm. I'm just going to play a holding move while I see what my opponent does. Oh, it does actually take quickly. The bishop is a move to try and encourage this, then drop back. Oh, hits my knight, so that's under attack now. Now that's an idea, isn't it? But no, I want to keep it traditional here. Because I'm expecting this to come. Well, that's a pawn. I think that's a blunder there. 
Now maybe I can push up and plant my bishop. I think my pawns just moved too quickly. Maybe a mistake. It might only be a temporary pawn. You can obviously attack the bishop straight away. And if I push a pawn forward to plant the bishop, it's still going to come under attack and my pawn structure's a bit vulnerable. So it might just be a temporary pawn. Although if the bishop goes back, then this is weak as well. Hmm. Okay, get the cursor off the board so I can't do a mouse slip. Yeah, the rook's going to cross. I think I should push the pawn there. That's my instinctive move. If you come back, this is loose. Even if you take, I'm going to do it. I might be able to do this one as well, actually, and really try and plant it. But obviously, this pawn could just fall. They could both fall. And I've got a knight. My pawn's got the two bishops. I shouldn't really trade them, but might do. You never know. I like queen here to get off this file. Just in case you push, I can try and come across. I'm going to play queen up with an ID to bring the rook across. I'm not sure which rook. Probably the A rook to come into the middle. Leave this one here preparing a potential push. Hmm. Again, get the cursor off the board so I don't do any mouse slips. Yeah, targeting them pawns. Difficult not to not to do anything here. Well, difficult to do anything, but um, hmm, it's difficult to do any of this, isn't it? Without loosening something. Maybe I can. Uh, if I play a queen here, though, and you push, it's awkward sometimes to just take. It's going to be a pin. If I do this, then it's kind of encouraging this. Hmm. I wonder whether I should just simply double up here. I think I need to. Feels a little bit risky this. Feels a little bit risky and it feels like I'm running out of space to do much. I've only got two attacking that, three defended, so it's very well guarded. My knight though is a bit vulnerable. It can be pinned, everything can be pinned. And my bishop's a bit stuck now, that's a problem being here, but maybe I can risk breaking breaking through if this bishop on the other pawn is sorted. How do I do that? Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if I can play a move like b5. Yeah, it has indeed come down for that pin. That's a little bit annoying, isn't it? Can I even play queen up here, though? Hmm. Maybe I can do this and this. Actually, I'm going to drop backwards and rook here. Break the pin. It's very negative, though, isn't it? Very defensive. Very difficult for me to do anything. But if I break the pin, there could be potentially another pin at some point if they're on the same diagonal. Yeah, it just goes straight away there. Knight here, maybe. Hmm. Actually, can I play a bishop back here? If we trade, then that's a permanent path in, but it gets rid of the bishop. I'm risking this. I could just leave my bishop there, but then it is literally just left there doing nothing. And we are a pawn up, so we can afford to give a pawn back. And we're still in the game. Now, I don't want to give up an exchange. I can't take, so I have to drop back. But the knight's got a nice square. Now I can try and guard these pawns. At least temporarily. Maybe use the knight as a big pawn. Okay, attack it, so I'm going to defend, I think. Knight in. Yeah, I'm going to try and guard it at least for a move or two. Bring the knight across. Whether I bring the knight right across, I mean, but I could go this side, potentially. But I need my queen into the game as well. Hmm, how do we do it?
Okay, well surely that allows just knight across. Now I'd be very happy if my opponent gave up the bishop by my knight. Let's take with the rook and leave it planted there. I don't think I could take with a pawn. I think I'd take with a rook if takes. Yeah, it doesn't take. I didn't think would. But now I need to guard the pawn. Unless I play knight across and try and kick the rook back. Hmm. Yeah, I'm actually going to do that just to free up the protection of this pawn. Try and put some pressure on here. Can I get the queen up and then pile in? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, let's come back and hit this pawn. Now two attack it and only one defends it. I don't think a sack here works. I hope not. Mm, I hadn't even considered that actually. That's danger, isn't it? Okay, two attack, two defense. I like the idea of queen up, but now if this pawn pushes, this pawn can't take back. Knight can, bishop can, can take, take. I think I'm fine. I'm going to try and go here. Well, that's obviously a bit of a problem, potentially. Queen here, bishop takes, takes, rook takes, and I think my queen can drop back. Okay, we're well now three attack it and two defend it. Rook there feels like it's a bit dicey. Might be the only option. But how on earth do I actually crack through though? Oh, can I do this and challenge that pawn? Hmm. Oh no, if the rook moves, I take the bishop. The rook can't go there, and the rook can't go there, the bishop would be loose. And three attack and two defend. Hmm. Yeah, get the get my hand off the mouse so I can't do any slips. The king's moved up, so hopefully conceding a pawn. And I don't see any reason not to take it. And then just simply take with the queen. I would be delighted to get the queen off here. I don't think I will, but I'd be delighted to. Oh, we have. Okay, now there's a target there and there. So knight back to hit the rook and hit this pawn. Should be good, but then my pawn might be getting loose here. So do I do something like this and plant my rook? Knight back, take, take, rook across, rook down. The rook can't actually get in. Eventually I can surely bring my king across. So I'm just going to do that. I could even take with a pawn, but then the rook here would crash through, I think. And I'm hitting this as well. I guess you can just defend that pawn. Well, it has gone for this one. Okay. I think uh, rook across now blunders bishop takes. Although my rook is guarded, so I could take back. So it's not a blunder. I want my opponent to play takes, and then I'll just simply take back. But taking the rook would be a blunder, though. But I can just take back the bishop with the pawn. And now you've got two pawns to defend. If I can get my king round, I should be winning. But there's still a long way to go. Oh, he's taken. Okay. Oh, can I not guard my pawn? Here. Or maybe I've blundered. Hold well on. Here. No, I have queen. You can't stop the pawn. You just draw a box and you can't step in. It's just a queen. Just learn that technique. Draw the box around the pawn. You can't stop it. Hmm. So we get a very good win. Excellent.